use holistic alternative healthcare methods i.e. aromatherapy, massage etc to help with pregnancy and birth. Um, yes, yes with um, with training as well. Um, I've trained with Suzanne Yates in Shiatsu in her course which was um, aimed at um, all birth workers, so um, for midwives and uh, doulas, and that's uh, that was teaching uh, shiatsu techniques which are safe to use uh, when it would be appropriate to use um, certain kinds of touch, and when it would not be appropriate. Um, because there are some pressure points on the body, for example, that um, somebody who wasn't aware, um, yeah, you, you shouldn't be touching those um, pressure points uh, during the, the last trimester because they can actually um, trigger labour. So um, it is good to um, find out from your doula if they have had training in massage before you let anybody put their hands on you. There is also um, a lot of um, awareness that's needed around um, mothers who have certain medical conditions. Um, you know, if they're diabetic or they have high blood pressure or just for whatever reason. So. When I work with couples, I um, when I work with with the mother, I need to really understand her medical profile before I'll, you know, put my hands anywhere near her. Um, that's just good practice anyway. Um, so yes, um, what else would come under that aromatherapy? Again, you need to be really aware of um, which oils can be potentially triggering um, of labour. Uh, some of them are really oxyto oxytoxic, oxyt <laughs> I can never say the right word. They can stimulate contractions so you don't want to um, be using certain oils and again um, if somebody wasn't very aware um, then uh, yes they could unwittingly um, do harm. So it's, yes, and I have been studying essential oils for years and um, how to use them safely, particularly in the context of um, pregnant people and um, have many reference books as well that I will keep coming back to to check in and just make sure that um, a particular oil will be safe to use for that particular person's kind of profile and um, yeah, um, where they're at in their pregnancy. Um, yeah, and it's been used really effectively. Um, we've used, you know, lemon oil, for example, for a mother who was very, very worried about vomiting in labour and had sort of repeatedly um, expressed a fear of vomiting in labour and um, yeah we cracked out some lemon essential oil just at the right moment and it was magic it that really shifted things um, I know some other tricks with um, certain essential oils that will um, help um, in a variety of very specific different scenarios and um, yeah none of this is stuff that I've just kind of made up um, I have um, all, I'm always referring to people who are more expert than me um, uh, if so what in your experience does it make a lot of difference I mean I would say anecdotally yes it's always difficult to prove whether something you did um, had a, one, an, a particular effect one way or the other because um, you only know how it went because you used that <laughs> um, and uh, you don't have a control in that scenario so um, 